evening and welcome to Information Please, your Peoria Public Library in the air, bring you information about your library and your community. And this evening my guest is Amanda Doyle and we're going to tell you about an exciting program that we're doing on May 2nd called Outlander the Gathering. Hi Amanda. Hi Tricia. <laughs> I know we're both so excited about this, being big Outlander fans, we can't wait. Yes, I've been an Outlander fan all my life and so I'm really, really excited about this. Well, I remember when I discovered the Outlander series, which of course is by, you know, Diana Gabaldon, who is like a PhD chemist or some crazy yeah. thing and was writing a novel just to see if she could do it. and. I think I discovered them walking through the library when I didn't work there uh, mm -hmm. years ago, and I was, she'd maybe written three of them at that point. But the problem with that is then you get into that thing where you read them and you have to wait and yeah. wait and wait and wait to get the next one. Exactly. But for um, those who aren't aware of the Outlander phenomenon, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Outlander is? Um, Outlander is a book series. I think she just put out book eight. Um, and she has a plan for book nine already. Um, it starts with the story of Claire Randall, which is, she's a World War II nurse right after World War II. She goes with her husband to um, Edinburgh and in Inverness to research her husband's genealogy and things from there kind of happen, events that change her life. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say the least. And this has been such a big phenomenon. Everybody always said, oh, we want it to be a movie. We want it to be a TV show. We want something. And this is one of those things where the books are this thick. I mean, the first one, the first yeah. book, Outlander, isn't, but the subsequent right. books are huge. And everybody said, how on earth could you make this sci-fi, time travel, historical romance? You know, you can't mystery. You can't put it into a genre. How are you going to put this on film? But finally... Finally. Who did it? Stars, uh, the cable network stars yeah. did it. And so we officially have our Outlander show and mm -hmm. it's a huge success. Yeah. I mean, fans around the world, it's, I mean, the first episode, it went, you know. Yeah, crazy and, and crazy. And, and everybody who's into uh, following stars, and there's plenty, plenty of stuff out there from the, the actors who are playing the main parts and constant little peaks of this and that. And at yeah. this point now, we're seeing the second half of season one. Yeah. And they've already signed for season two. Exactly. So if somehow you've missed all this, we should uh, at this point have the first part of season one, which aired in the fall of 2014, is on DVD and the library has a copy and hopefully you can get your hands on it or yeah. you know, however. And so um, I'm sure it'll be a while before the second, second half part, of season yeah. I don't understand this season one, season A and season a, one B, B, but that's the way TV works now. So yeah. um, you have to wait a long time. But if you hadn't seen it, you could get the DVD, yeah. you could read the book. And the, the uh, TV series has followed pretty faithfully. Hasn't yeah, it? it really has followed pretty closely. Um, you know, there's always little changes, you know, from yeah, book to film. Yeah, you have to from uh, film. But I know all the fans are really pleased with how it's going, and it's just been amazing to see this book we've all loved for, you know, nearly twenty plus years yeah, loved. now come to life with these characters, yeah. and it's just amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Well, I've got a, a couple of pictures here, and there's Claire and Frank, her husband, in 1945 mm -hmm. on their second honeymoon, which of course. They had been married for a long time, but because of World yeah. War II, had spent very it's, little time yeah, together. They were apart for the a whole long war, pretty time. much. And they're trying to get to know each other again, mm -hmm. and things are a little, they're, they're good, but not as good as they could be, maybe, yeah. you know. And Frank's all fixated on an ancestor mm -hmm. he has in 1745, right? Which is the reason why they're back in Scotland in this area. They're looking up for his... Um, it's, I can't even remember how many even, generations. Yeah, many generations back, but um, Black, Jack, Black Randall. Jack Randall. But they go and they look at the, the stones, and because they heard that there's some local folks practicing the old magic, yeah. and they watch. Um, I forget what. They're not. They don't call them witches so no, much. No, more druids, and yeah. just kind of they do kind of the old ritual yeah. of the you know around the stones and the bonfire and the 
yeah. lanterns and kind of. And of dancing. course, there's those mm -hmm. those um, holidays like Beltane, mm -hmm. which um, we're going to have something very exciting about that time going on yeah. at the library. Mm -hmm. But um, poor Claire. Yeah. Accidentally. Yeah, one afternoon she goes to visit the stones on her own and yeah. she gets transported back to Scotland, 1743. Yeah. So. And meets. That's, and meets. Uh, Black Jack Black Randall. Jack Randall. Frank's, um, <laughs> you know, many generations removed. Ans ancestor. Direct ancestor. Yep. You know, so she meets this man and, of course, she looks out of time and place. And he's immediately suspicious of her. So the story revolves around Claire and uh, Black, Jack, Black Randall. Jack Randall's kind of obsession with her. Yeah. You know, and he's so she's not a nice man. No, particularly. he's not, not a, like Frank. No, he's not, not like at his all. descendant Frank. You know, so she's the book revolves around her trying to stay out of his, mm -hmm. you know, and go back home. Yeah, and try to get, to get back to, back to Frank, home. but she has to avoid his ancestor mm -hmm. to get there. But in the meantime, she meets Jamie Frazier. Yeah. He kind of saves her. And that's uh, Jamie in the front there, the one with the, the kilt and the knees. Yeah, <laughs> kilt and the knees. Um, so she meets Jamie Frazier, who was known at the time as Jamie McTavish because he is also trying to hide from Black Jack Randall. <laughs> so they kind of find allies in one another, uh -huh. you know, and they become friends and they become close. Yeah, you know, and all these other characters are are in the books and in the movie, and all yeah. the, the folks riding around them. But we'll let people find out who they yeah, are. Yeah, we don't want to give away too much. Yeah, and then so as Jamie and Claire get close and friendly, you know, she's like I said, she's trying to avoid being interrogated and imprisoned by the British. Mm -hmm. So what she is given to her as really her only option is to marry Jamie. So she's part of the clan. Yeah. And so they she can becomes. Her. Yeah. She becomes a Scottish citizen, and at that time, British, you know, forces, British army officers could not interrogate or imprison Scottish, you know, yeah, citizens unless there's you know a due cause, and they don't really have anything. And there's so, so many interesting questions because. She's a bigamist, but how can she be a bigamist mm -hmm. when her husband hasn't been born yet? Yeah, so that's so a lot many, of... Yeah. many things to puzzle over. Yeah, she has quite a, you know, bit of trouble mm -hmm. trying to reconcile. She needs to save mm -hmm. her own life and protect herself, but she's also, you know, just reconnecting with her husband, Frank, back in 1945. And so she, you know, yeah. that's part of the struggle as well. Yeah, yeah. And as you can see from these pictures... The, both the books, and one of the things I love is they're so historically accurate. Mm -hmm. And so the television series has been too. Yeah. And so one of the things is it's really, really driven people's interest in Scottish history. It really has. The fashions, the mm -hmm. food, because there's detailed descriptions of the food and yeah. the medicine, which she's a healer. Claire goes on to be a healer, but of course she doesn't have modern medicine. So here they are looking at plants. Mm -hmm. Again, they spend a lot of time looking at plants. And here is, of course, the opening of season one, part two, that, yeah. that started at the beginning of April. Yeah. And we're so all very we're happy it's back. And enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. They were calling it, there was a lot of jokes on the internet about Drought Lander yeah. and, yep. and, and little teasers and things to keep people busy mm -hmm. and lots of photographs. Of course, the, the season one, part one won a lot of awards too. It did. It won, um, I think, People's Choice Awards, Critic Choice Awards. They've also just recently been nominated for Saturn Awards. So it, like I said, it's very popular and it's really been well received by everybody. Yeah, so much that season two is already un underway. Yeah. So that'll be nice, mm -hmm. can't wait. But this is a little taste of Scottish history at Peoria Public Library. Yes. You want to tell us what we're going to do to celebrate Outlander? Well, on Saturday, May 2nd, we are going to have a program we're calling Outlander The Gathering. It's a um, kind of an all-day program we're having, and we're very excited. A lot of, um, right here on the screen, we see Wendy Blanton. She's um, a bard or storyteller. Her official title is Shanaki. That's the official. I'm glad Gaelic. you know how to say that. Yes, that's the official Gaelic. word. Uh, Shanaki. Okay. Shanaki. Um, 
her official title. She's going to be telling us Scottish folk tales and folklore um, and regaling us with fun tales. Um, we also have music. We're going to have pipers and drummers and singer. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We'll have many dancers, both little ones up to bigger ones, um, coming to dance. And they'll explain what the dances represent. You know, they'll do the Scottish sword dance, you know, where they dance around the sword, which is always my favorite. Yeah. Um, I do love when they do that. Uh, we're also going to have a speaker, Dave Holt, from the Clan Donald, who's been a very big help yeah. to us. Um, setting this all up and helping us find information in these people. Um, but Dave Halt, he's the Clan Donald USA State Commissioner. He's going to give us a talk about the Jacobites, the Jacobite Rebellion, the battles. Which, of course, is the time period that yes, Claire got is, sent right back um, to. Right before the, um, I think, the second Jacobite Rebellion, you know, um, the Clan Fraser and the Clan Mackenzie, which is who Claire finds herself with, Mm -hmm. They are kind of aligning themselves with the what they're hoping is the future king, you know, Prince Charlie, to put yeah. him back on the throne. If people don't know about Scottish history and about the Jacobite Rebellion, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all tied in with English history and Protestants against the Catholics. Yeah. And, uh, um, so much fascinating history, but the Jacobite Rebellion is, there were several of them, but this mm -hmm. particular one was is really fascinating. And explains why we have such huge numbers of Scottish people that, you know, were sent over here. They wanted yeah. them out of Scotland. They were done yeah. fighting with them, took the Highlanders and sent them over to America. Sent, imprisoned them or sent them to America. Yeah. If they'd been in prison, they sent them to America when they got out. Mm -hmm. You know, just, we're done with you. Yeah. And uh, so that, that explains a lot of the the popularity of some of the Scottish festivals and things that go on in this exactly, country. Exactly. And if you've not been to one of those, they're they're a lot of fun and hearing the hearing the bagpipes and mm -hmm. all that and Yeah, I love going to several around, you know, the States. So Yeah. A lot yeah. of fun. Be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so and Clan McDonald is helping us a lot with this and, and Yes, they're based out of Springfield and I approached them because my family name is McDonald. So we're part of the Clan Donald and I've met them at um, these Scottish festivals and yeah. you know, talked to them a bunch. So I approached them and you know, they've been a tremendous help finding the storyteller, the dancers, the music, mm -hmm. you know. So they're very excited, and I'm very excited to work with them, and it's just been amazing. We should tell people it's almost like a mini fun conference because we're going to start mm -hmm. at 10 and end at 2, so it's mm -hmm. not your whole day. You still have time to go do your yeah. grocery shopping, and you can come and go. You don't have to stay all day, and mm -hmm. it's free. It's free, yeah. You don't Parking have to, is free. You don't have to call and register or pay anything. No, yeah, you can you immerse want. yourself for the day, or you mm -hmm. can pop in for the part you want. Yeah. But what are we going to start with first thing in the morning? Starting with, we're going to do a mini calling of the clans. Um, they'll explain why that's so important, um, the background behind it. They'll call out a few clan names. If your clan name is called, you always say present or, you know, here, so you know who's around with the clans. Um, then we'll do the music and the dancers. Um, we'll kind of break for lunch, and during a lunch period, um, we have many stations you can go to. Yeah, that's uh, going to be the fun thing. Yeah, that's going to be really the interactive kind of, you know, mm -hmm. do as you want, stroll through, no time constraints. Um, some of the stations we have, there's one we're calling Outlander Kitchen, which is related to Outlander Show that yeah. we talked about. It's a big phenomenon each episode of Outlander. They take one food item and they make a recipe and tell yeah, this people is how a, to... This is a chef. Mm -hmm. And we have her permission yes, to use do. her recipes, and we actually are printing up little recipe mm -hmm. books with a few of the, the best recipes or the most, you know, things like shortbread yeah. and scones that, you, that are yeah. often in the show. So all day long, if you need a little snack anytime during this, you can stop in the Outlander kitchen and get some, some goodies that will be reminiscent of Scotland and... I wish we could do something bigger, you know, haggis or <laughs> yeah. oatmeal yeah. or partridge or par porridge. I don't even know how they say that in the book, remember. but yeah. yeah, yeah, basically it's porridge said with an accent. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to have something a lot easier and quicker to eat than that because there's going to be these other things to do. Yes, um, we have other stations other than the Outlander Kitchen. One we're having is make your own tartan colors. 
Um, we'll have somebody there from the Clan Donald, plus our own books from our local genealogy section, mm -hmm. explaining what the colors mean, why certain clans had their colors put together, and you can kind of create your own tartan color, your own That'll tartan pattern, um, you know, to represent mm -hmm. you and your family. Yeah, of course. They, we don't have their tartan up there, but we have um, a crust or a shield. Mm -hmm. And we'll also have other, you know, materials. You can look at books and such that'll explain the what each things on the crests mean. And so you can also make your own crest as well as your own tartan. So, yeah. you know, kind that's of a, a little fun. craft for yeah. all ages. Exactly, that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, um, that'll be a lot of fun. We also have um, learn to speak Gaelic. One of the great things that Outlander the show has done. Um, leading up to the premiere of season one, part A, mm -hmm. was they took their um, Gaelic expert and they had him do, along with Sam Hewen, the guy who plays Jamie Fraser, uh, do little clips on how to speak Outlander. They took some of the most favorite phrases or words from the mm -hmm. book and they explained what it meant, how to say it with the proper accent and everything, and they become a huge success on YouTube. So if you want, you could go to YouTube.com and look up how to speak Outlander. And I think there's maybe six or eight clips, you know, but we'll have those for you to look at. We'll also be using our Pure Public Library database, Mango, that doesn't teach. There's, a diff, there's two types of Gaelic. There's Scottish Gaelic and Irish Gaelic. Yeah. Um, we have the Irish Gaelic database, but it's close enough that you could, you know, kind of get some words and learn them. Yeah. Um, and we'll and that's something that when you're there, if you need help, the librarians will show you how to set up an account. Yeah. And you can do that. You can sit with your phone in your car, you yeah, know, and, you can. and speak, not That's while you're it. driving, <laughs> while you're stuck waiting for somebody. I mean, you yeah. can do it anywhere you can get yeah. on the internet. You can get on Mango it's once a, you have your it's account. It's a really, really fun database. Yeah. Well, we have Cherokee and yeah. French. I mean, there's a lot of French in the book mm -hmm. as well. There is, especially in the second book, there's a lot of French. So, mm -hmm. you know, you could even skip ahead to book two and, 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 and help yourself with French. That one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll also have somebody from the Clan Donald who is a Gaelic speaker, and they'll be there to help and, you know, teach you some words as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. We'll have that in our computer lab yeah. for you to do at any time during the little break. We also have... Um, well, we're going to have our it, yeah. board with the Calling of the Clans. Yeah, the Calling of the Clans. Um, that we want you to put your clan name up there. Yeah, exactly. Also with the beginning of the program with the small calling of the clans out loud, we're going to kind of have a visual calling of the clans, yeah. kind of a big bonfire. And it'll be a picture. Yeah, it'll be a, a picture, bonfire. not a real bonfire. <laughs> um, and we'll have a way for you to add your name. Now, yeah. are we going to let people whose name is like Smith of course. Or Jones that aren't really Scottish. Of Do they course. get to put their name up there? Smith and Jones yeah. and Browns can put their names yeah. in there too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and no matter what your name is. Yeah. So you, you can, can put your, your name, name in there. You know, so that'll be really interesting be to fun. see. You know, yeah, there's there's the great names. scenes in the in the book um, where they have a lit torch and they come down the mountain and and mm -hmm. say, you know, the Frasers are here and they throw their torch in the bonfire. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we're inside and yeah, bonfires really. don't go well with library books. No, so no, no. <laughs> it'll have to be all pretend. But you yeah. can use your imagination. Exactly. And it'll be a fun way to see yeah. the names of the people that come. Yeah. 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 So um, during that break, well, that's also when we'll have the Jacobite speaker um, speaking. He's also going to bring a very large weapons display. You know, so you could see the weapons, um, the swords, um, guns. He's bringing yeah. a not a real, but a brown Bessie, which is a gun they had back then. Yeah, the, the brown Bess is famous. And that, of mm -hmm. course, was famous in the American Revolution, too. Yeah, so they have one of those the little French brains. Indian so War. there'll be a big weapons display that you could talk mm -hmm. to them about and look at. Um, it's really exciting. They're going to have a lot. He's got two very big um, collections he's going to bring. So that'll be very interesting yeah, as well. Yeah, that always gets the guys. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> if you've seen, seen the television show and seen some of the fighting that goes mm -hmm. on and, and some of the fighting with sabers and all and they often have a dirk and they have you know they even give Claire at one point lessons in how to defend yeah. herself with her yeah. little I'm not even going to try and say it her sock knife <laughs> her skin do thank you skin do yes that is is a little knife that that people often carried in mm -hmm. their those lovely socks yeah. with the sticking out of the yeah. top and so there's you know, they even had lessons in that, but I'm sure he'll have all of those things. And he sure will. You wonder how strong 
those Highlanders had to be to use those huge broadswords yeah. plus all the other stuff they were carrying. Exactly. You know, exactly. it's just it's just crazy and who needs I mean, they did practice fighting all the time, but yeah. My goodness, the strength yeah. you had to have to do yeah. that. And that was the everyday thing. You carried your sword everywhere. Yeah, you, you know. Go, well, just, dangerous times. Yeah. Dangerous times. Yeah. Maybe we should go back to that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and then after we do, you know, we have all these speakers and you can wander around and do these other things if mm -hmm. there's something you don't want to hear um, or you're interested in sitting through. And then we'll wrap our day up. With, with our with our um, storyteller mm -hmm. Wendy from Chicago, yeah. so um, her official title is the Shauna Key. So she's very excited. She's a longtime Outlander fan too, so mm -hmm. she jumped right on board with this. Very excited to help us. Well, I know the person who started Outlander Kitchen was thrilled to death, and she said she wished she could come. This was her kind of event. Yeah. And so we're we're excited that we're getting you know approval of people involved yeah. with the project. Yeah. To, to do this, but we just uh, kind of thought it was time for Peoria to have a place to express their their love for Outlander exactly. and to, to be able to learn a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be fun a little bit at this point to talk about our actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, anytime you have uh, beloved characters like Jamie and Claire, mm -hmm. people have a picture in their, their head of who those are. So who yeah. are Katrina Bel Balfi and then Balfi. Um, Sam Hewen. Yeah. Um, Sam is Scottish. Um, Katrina, though, is Irish, but she puts on a great English accent, so don't oh, worry. Oh, she does. She yeah. sounds very English, um, and she, she looks English. She yeah, has that she very pale, beautiful skin, mm -hmm. the, the dark hair. And, mm -hmm. of course, Claire in the book has this wild curly hair. I'm yeah. not sure her hair naturally is that curly, but yeah. yeah. I think Sam really plays the redhead well. Yeah, he really does. Um, they've became, you know, almost overnight successes. You know, they have done smaller things, but Outlander mm -hmm. basically picked these two relatively unknown actors, and now they're known worldwide. They both have huge fan bases. Sam's is the Hewan Hooligans, <laughs> and uh, Katrina's is the Katrinites, I think, or Katrinites. Yeah. And, um, you know, they all are just huge fan bases. They um, go around the world seeing Well, there was so various... much controversy. Mm -hmm. Everybody kept saying, oh, you'll never find Jamie. Mm -hmm. And they were worried about casting Jamie. Because Jamie mm -hmm. in the book is a very tall, very brawny, yeah. redhead, flaming red hair, mm -hmm. Scottish man who's, you know, he can be violent, but he's gentle and he's honorable. And he was raised to be the, you know, head of his clan. And he's mm -hmm. a Scottish gentleman. Yeah. Which I th it, it depends on what you know about history, where you th whether you think Scotland had gentlemen or not. Yeah. But they obviously did. They yeah. had people mm -hmm. who were the leaders and the nobility, and that's what he was raised to do. Yeah. And sure enough, the first person that tried out was Sam, and they were like, we have our Jamie. Yeah. And I know a lot of people were worried. Um, at first, he didn't look like the typical Jamie. You know, he did a lot of you know, buffing up to become this very big man and, you know, um, but Diana Gobbledon, the, uh, the author, she met him and right away she said, this man is Jamie. Yeah. And so that kind of soothed most people's feathers and like, yeah. well, if she, the person who's created this character says this man's Jamie, then, okay, you know, yeah, yeah okay, then, you know, we've trusted her so far. And so, yeah. you know, all the characters have become mm -hmm. beloved and, I mean, even the most rotten ones you know blackjack randall yeah he's People got love him yeah, too. um tobias and what a Menzi difficult job a, he has too playing yeah, frank, frank and and blackjack yeah, two and very different men 200 years apart mm -hmm. you know so he's got a big following too even as blackjack the yeah. villain of the well and a lot story. of jamie's uh buddies that that follow him around and mm -hmm. hang out with them also have developed fan yeah. Yeah. fans and have a following now yeah. and yeah. so this really one of the most interesting things to me about the, mm -hmm. the casting of this was that, of course, Katrina is tall. She's five foot ten, and in the books, um, you know, Claire is a very small woman. She's mm -hmm. like five two, five three. Yeah. And a lot of people said, well, Jamie wasn't tall enough, and then people started pointing out, well, you know, they got an actress that's way taller. Tall. But yeah. people have accepted it, and yeah. and and you get lost in the story. Yeah, it's so well made that you know, okay, so she's not as 
you know, short as she should be in the book, but that is a small detail, and oh, they've yeah. just told the story so beautifully, and it's just mm -hmm. so well made. I mean, even visually, yes. not just the story and the words, yeah. but that you just get lost, and each episode is better and better. You know, you'd say, well, last night's episode's been my favorite. Well, then next week, well, this has been my favorite. Yeah. You know, it's just... It gets even better with yeah. each new episode, and it's and, it's and that's amazing. kind of the way the books have been for me. You know, mm -hmm. I loved the original Outlander book when I read it, and mm -hmm. then reading the sequels, it's fascinating to me. One of the things I love, of course, is history and how accurate these books yeah. are. We've talked a lot about the TV show because that's what's on everybody's mind now. Mm -hmm. But anybody who's a, a book lover, if you, it doesn't matter, male or female. My brother loves these yeah. books. Um, because there's so much, there's war and there's, yeah. you know, there's so much very true, very accurate history, costumes that we talked about, the food, you know, and there's so much on botany and mm -hmm. the medicinal plants and so yeah. much about, you know, just everything. Yeah. And I, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. Can you pick a favorite out of the whole series? I think the third one is my favorite oh, of the okay. whole series. and. They are incredibly historic, historically accurate. That's mm -hmm. why it takes so long for her to put out a book because she goes into such detail in her detail. research mm -hmm. and that she wants to make sure everything is right. I mean, even to the smallest detail. you know. And so her continuity is wonderful, too, yeah. because she'll bring up something from way back and it mm -hmm. matches perfectly. But, yeah. but anybody, we're, we're out of time. So real quickly, on May 2nd, free event, free parking, yeah. 10 to 2, Everything Outlander at Outlander the Gathering, Peoria Public Library, Main Library, down in the auditorium. Go to the Outlander Kitchen, watch some dancing, hear a storyteller, hear the pipers, the drummers, learn to speak Gaelic, design your own tartan. Anything you want to do, we're probably going to have it. And we would love to see you there and have you there for our gathering. Have you put our, your name up on our bonfire and say you were one of the clans that attended the gathering. All the information is on our website at purepubliclibrary.org. Can't wait to see you. End next week on Information, Please. Mm -hmm.